Mamanchisaurus. Mamanchisaurus, slash MMNTISRS slash Mamunchisaurus, or spelling pronunciation slash MMNTISRS slash, is a genus of sauropod dinosaur known for their remarkably long necks which made up nearly half the total body length. Numerous species have been assigned to the genus, however, many of these might be questionable. Fossils have been found in the Sichuan Basin and Yunnan Province in China. Several species are from the upper Shaxamau formation whose geologic age is uncertain. However, evidence suggests that this be no earlier than the Oxfordian stage of the late Jurassic. M. Sinocanadorum dates to the Oxfordian stage, 158.7 to 161.2 Maya, and M. Neuensis to the Aption stage of the early Cretaceous 114.4 Maya. Most species were medium to large size sauropods 15 to 26 meters, 49 to 85 feet, in length. Two as yet undescribed cervical vertebrae, which might belong to M. Sinocanadorum, suggest one of the largest dinosaurs known, estimated at 35 meters, 115 feet, in length and possibly weighed 60 and 80 tons, 66 and 88 short tons. Dot. Description it's not certain that all the species that have been assigned to Mammanchisaurus should belong to the genus. Some Mammanchisaurus species are almost completely known, and others are fragmentary. The species vary in size and specific skull and skeleton features but share typical sauropod traits, like large bodies with long tails, and are quadrupedal. However, Mammanchisaurus' most distinctive feature is their exceptionally long necks, approaching half their body length. Complete necks are known in M. Youngi and M. Hachuanensis, consisting of 18 and 19 vertebrae respectively. Mammanchisaurus cervical vertebrae are elongated, lightly constructed and highly pneumatic. The neural spines on their posterior cervical and anterior dorsal vertebrae are bifurcated. Their shoulders were somewhat higher than the hips. The different species vary in length, from around 15 meters, 49 feet, to at least 26 meters, 85 feet, and may be up to 35 meters, 115 feet, based on two undescribed vertebrae. The neck posture of sauropod dinosaurs is a controversial topic. Andreas Christian and colleagues analyzed the neck of Mammanchisaurus youngi. They found the neck was nearly straight with a slight upward bend at the base and a slight downward bend towards the head when articulated in a neutral posture. The base of the neck has comparatively high upward flexibility but limited downward flexibility. The region near the head had better downward flexibility and low upward flexibility. In the mid-region, downward flexibility was high which led the authors to conclude that M. Youngi frequently fed at low levels. Long overlapping cervical ribs may have limited flexibility. The authors also estimated the stress on the intervertebral joint cartilage. Their results suggest the neck was kept mostly straight, with the possible exception of the neck base and near the head. Mammanchisaurus have forked chevrons, or slid chevrons, starting around the middle of the tail, similar to those seen in diplodocids, these chevrons curve strongly backwards and add a forward projection. Gregory S. Paul has argued that these types of chevrons are adaptations linked to rearing behavior. In a tripodal stance, the tail acts as a prop, and the forked chevrons would help distribute the weight evenly. Paul also notes that the pelvises of Mammanchisaurus are retroverted, tilted, which may have allowed slow walking whilst bipedal. A large ulna, pit SGP 2006 tenths, measuring greater than 96 cm, 38 in, in length, referred to Mammanchisaurus sp. From the Shishugu formation, was used in a bone histology analysis. By sectioning the bone and counting the growth rings, the age at death was estimated at 43 years. Discovery and Species Mammanchisaurus was first discovered in 1952 on the construction site of the Yitang Highway in Sichuan Province of China. The fossil site belonged to the upper Shaxamau formation, dating to at least the late Jurassic. The partial skeleton fossil was later studied and named Mammanchisaurus constructus in 1954 by the renowned Chinese paleontologist Professor C. C. Young. The type specimen, IVPPV 790, was fragmentary, disordered, and not excavated in a technical way. Material included 5 dorsal vertebrae, 30 caudal vertebrae, rib fragments, dorsal neural spines, and chevrons. 14 neck vertebrae were preserved, but none were complete. Young noted that some neck vertebrae might have been missing, and estimated the whole neck at 4.67 meters, 15.3 feet. Limb material included, two pieces of a femur, a complete tibia, fibula, astragalus, metatarsals, phalanges, and claws. The skull, four limbs and pelvic girdle were missing. M. constructus has been estimated around 13 to 15 meters, 43 to 49 feet, 
in length with a mass of 5 tons, 5.5 short tons. Mamanchasaurus means mamanki lizard, from the Chinese pinyin ma, horse, and men, gate, while chi is a transliteration of xi, stream or brook, combined with the suffix saurus, from Greek saurus meaning lizard. The intention was to name the genus after the place where its fossil was first found. Dot however, due to an accentual mix-up by Young, the location name Mamanxi, horse neighing brook, was mistaken as Mamanxi, horse gate brook. The fact that the first Mamanchasaurus fossil was found due to construction work led to Young's naming the type species as Mamanchasaurus constructus. In 1958, Young described additional sauropod remains collected from Gansu province. The remains consisted of various partial specimens, IVPPV, 945, V, 946, V, 947, V, 948, most of which were assigned to M. constructus. In 1972, one of these specimens was reassigned to M. hachuanensis. Mamanchasaurus hachuanensis. In 1972, a second species young and Zijin Zhao described Mamanchasaurus hachuanensis. The fossils were found near a village in Hichuan, north of Chongqing, originally part of the Sichuan province, China, 200 meters, 660 feet, above the Fu River on the slope of a mountain. The M. Hachuanensis fossil site also belonged to the upper Shaxamau formation, very close to the M. constructus type specimen's location, dating to at least the late Jurassic. Locals first discovered the remains sometime before the Chinese Revolution. However, the remains were ultimately abandoned and left to weather in situ. Excavation didn't begin on the site until 1957. The holotype specimen, CCGV 20401, consisted of an almost complete and articulated vertebral column, including 19 elongated cervical vertebrae which were almost entirely preserved, 12 dorsal vertebrae, 4 sacral vertebrae, and 35 caudal vertebrae with only the last several missing. Also missing from the skeleton was the majority of the four limbs and skull. The total length of M. Hachuanensis is about 21 to 22 meters, 69 to 72 feet, with a 9.3 meters, 31 feet, long neck. When M. Hachuanensis was first described, it was the largest sauropod known from China. Young and Zhao estimated the mass of M. Hachuanensis at 45 tons, 50 short tons. However, later volumetric mass estimates are lower at 14 to 18.2 tons, 15.4 to 20.1 short tons. In 1958, Young described a Mamanchasaur specimen, IVPPV 946, from the Haishiwan region of Yangdeng, Gansu province. This specimen was initially assigned to M. constructus. However, in 1972 it was reassigned to M. hachuanensis as a paratype. This specimen was slightly smaller than the holotype and consisted of less material overall. However, it contained some anatomical details missing in the type specimen. In 2001, Another specimen, ZDM0126, was described and referred to M. hachuanensis. It was nearly complete and mostly articulated. Found in 1995 at a construction site in Huadong New District, Zigong City, Sichuan Province. This specimen also preserved a skull, pectoral girdle and forelimb material, all of which were missing from the holotype. Four fused tail vertebra from the tip of the tail have expanded neural arches and taller neural spines. It's thought that these could be a weapon such as a tail club, or a sensory organ. Other Chinese sauropods, Shunosaurus and Omasaurus, are also known to have had tail clubs, but they differ in shape to that of M. hachuanensis. Phylogenetic analyses have cast doubt on the referral of this specimen to M. hachuanensis. Mamanchasaurus sinocanadorum. In 1993, M. sinocanadorum was described by Dale Russell and Zhang Zheng. The remains were found in 1987 when a cervical rib was seen projecting out of a cliff. The fossil site was located in the Younger Basin, Xinjiang, from the upper part of the Shishugu Formation, between 161.2 ma and 158.7 ma in age. The specimen, IVPPV10603, consisted of an articulated series of the first four cervical vertebrae, a well-preserved mandible, and other skull material. The mandible was 60.3 cm, 23.7 in, in length and at 19 teeth. In contrast to the more squared-off jaws of diplodocids, the front of the mandibles met at an oblique angle. The neural arches of the vertebrae were well fused to the center suggesting that the animal was mature. This species possessed the longest cervical rib of any described sauropod dinosaur, measuring 4.1 meters, 13 feet. For comparison, 
Asura Poseidon cervical rib measures 3.42 meters, 11.2 feet. The cervical vertebrae are on average 1.19 times longer than those of M. hachuanensis. Based on this, Russell and Jung estimated the type specimen at 26 meters, 85 feet. The neck has been estimated at 12 meters, 39 feet, in length. The species name refers to the China-Canada Dinosaur Project. The authors noted that the teeth are fully erupted but unworn, suggesting the animal starved. Due to there being little bone at the cliff base, the authors proposed that the cervicals broke away before full decomposition. The head and part of the neck then drifted downstream until they came to rest in shallow water on a point bar and eventually buried. Two large cervical vertebrae have since been found from the same formation as M. sinocanadorum and might belong to the species. However, these vertebrae have yet to be formally described. Gregory S. Paul has suggested these may represent one of the largest dinosaurs known, with an estimated length of 35 meters, 115 feet, and 60 and 80 tons, 66 and 88 short tons. Mammanchosaurus jingyanensis. M. Jingyanensis was described in 1998 by Yi Hong Zhang, Kui Li, and Quang Wazong. The type specimen, CV00734, was located 200 meters away from the administrative headquarters of the town of Meiwang, Jingyan County. Another specimen, JV002, was found in the village of Sanyang approximately 10 kilometers from Meiwang and became the paratype. A third specimen, CV00219, found near the village of Duja, about 10 kilometers from Sanyang. The fossils were located in the Sichuan Basin, from the upper Shaksamao Formation. The species name refers to Jingyan County from which the majority of specimens were excavated. The type specimen includes a partial scapula and complete coracoid, forelimb material, a complete ischium, a relatively complete skull, and a hyoid bone. The paratype specimen included three anterior cervical vertebrae, several weathered dorsal vertebrae, various caudal vertebrae including a nearly articulated column, relatively complete hind and forelimbs, and isolated teeth. The third specimen preserved a column of cervical vertebrae with articulated ribs, four fused sacrals, several caudals, a complete scapula coracoid, various limb bones, and isolated teeth. The skull was restored at 55 cm, 22 in, in length. There were four teeth in the premaxilla, 14 to 16 in the maxilla, and 17 to 19 in the dentary. Zhang and colleagues estimated this species between 20 to 26 meters, 66 to 85 feet, in length. Paul estimated it at 20 meters, 66 feet, with a mass of 12 tons, 13 short tons. Mammanchosaurus neuensis. M. neuensis was described in 1996 by Zhen Luhi and colleagues. The remains were discovered in 1987 from two locations near the town of Long Shaoshang in the Sichuan Basin. At one quarry, at least five to six individuals were found. At a second quarry, four individuals were found. One of these became the holotype, AL001 representing two-thirds of an articulated skeleton. Other specimens were also reported, AL002, AL003, and AL101-106, which provide more skeletal information. The species name references on Yue County where it was discovered. Mneuensis is known from both the top of the Sweening Formation and the bottom of the Penglazad Formation. Uranium lead dating places M. Neuensis in the Sweening Formation at 114.4 Ma in age, as this would make it roughly 30 million years younger than the other Mammanchosaurus species, it is unlikely that M. Neuensis is actually a member of the genus. The holotype specimen preserved 8 posterior cervical vertebrae, 12 dorsal vertebrae, 5 sacral vertebrae, several caudals, a complete pelvis. Another specimen, AL102, preserved 5 articulated cervicals from the middle of the neck. Except for the digit bones, the forelimb is completely known and represented by multiple individuals. This species shares a lot of morphological similarity to M. hachuanensis. He and colleagues estimated the length of this species at 21 meters, 69 feet. Paul estimated it longer at 25 meters, 82 feet, with a mass of 25 tons, 28 short tons. Mammanchosaurus yungi. Also described in 1996 was Mammanchosaurus yungi from the upper Shaksamao formation. A local quarrying stone near a village in Zigong, Sichuan Province, found the remains in 1987. The species was named in honor of C.C. C. Young. The holotype specimen, ZDM0083, was very complete and mostly articulated, preserving all the vertebra from the head down to the eighth tail vertebra. This species had 18 neck vertebra. 
Also preserved was, the pectoral girdle, pelvic girdle, and material from all four limbs. This specimen also preserved a nearly complete skull. There were four teeth in the premaxilla, 18 in the maxilla, and 22 to 24 in the dentary. An unusual part of the skeleton is the wedge-shaped sacrum, this causes the sacrum and the base of the tail to pitch up relative to the rest of the vertebral column. At 16 meters, 52 feet, long with a 6.5 meters, 21 feet, neck, M. Youngi is one of the smaller species of Mammanchisaurus. The mass of M. Youngi was estimated at 7.87 tons, 8.68 short tons, using volumetric techniques. Other Mammanchisaurus Species and Material Other species of Mammanchisaurus have been named over the years. In some cases, species from other genera have been transferred to Mammanchisaurus, but there is disagreement with the referral's validity. Some of these species are based on fragmentary remains and have been considered undiagnostic. Others are considered as invalid or as nomina nuda. In 1976, Ho, Zhao and Chu named a new genus, Zagongosaurus fuxiensis. Known from at least four specimens from the upper Shaxamau formation. The type specimen, CV00261, included skull material, maxilla, dentary, basi occipital. Additional material includes dorsal vertebrae, pubis, and ischium. Since then other researchers have disagreed as to whether the genus is valid. Dong, Zhou and Zhang assigned the remains to the similarly named Omasaurus fuxiensis in 1983. Zhang and Chen assigned the remains to Mammanchisaurus as M. fuxiensis in 1996. Li and Kai considered it a nomen nudum in 1997. In 1999, Valerie Martin Rowland considered Zagongosaurus a valid genus. Wang and colleagues considered it undiagnostic in 2019. M. Guangyuanensis was briefly mentioned by Zhang, Li, and Zhang in 1998 with the description of M. Jingyuanensis, but no details are given. Li and Kai considered it a nomen nudum. Wang and colleagues considered it undiagnostic in 2019. M. Yunanensis was described by Fang and colleagues in 2004, from the Anning Formation in the Sichuan Basin, Yunnan. The type specimen consisted of disarticulated forelimb, hindlimb, and pelvic material. Wang and colleagues questioned the assignment to Mammanchisaurus in 2019. M. Yakanensis is a nomen nudum. Omasaurus Changchaiuensis described by Young in 1958 and Omasaurus Gongjianensis were considered to be species of Mammanchisaurus by Zhang and Chen in 1996. Upchurch considered O Changchaiuensis undiagnosable. In 1978, an incomplete sauropod humerus, NSMPV 17656, found in a layer of the early Cretaceous aged Miyako group of Japan was considered to probably belong to Mammanchisaurus. In 1991, it was referred to Mammanchisaurus sp. by Hasegawa and colleagues. However, the humerus was reassessed by Azuma and Tamada in 1998, and Barrett and colleagues in 2002. They couldn't find any distinguishing features that could place the humerus into a specific sauropod group. They regarded it as an indeterminate sauropod. The remains were given an informal name Moshi Ryu, Moshi being the local name for the location it was discovered, and Ryu being Japanese for dragon, also referred to as Moshisaurus. Classification Mammanchisaurus is sometimes referred to as a wastebasket taxon, with researchers questioning the number of species and fragmentary remains assigned to the genus. The genus is poorly defined with an increasingly confused taxonomy which makes understanding phylogenic relationships difficult. Several analyzes have failed to show Mammanchisaurus as monophyletic, suggesting the need to revise the genus. Additional research on the type species, M. constructus, is required to better understand the genus. When M. constructus was first described, Young noted that the chevron bones indicated an affinity with Diplodocidae, but was uncertain to its exact position. In 1958, Young assigned Mammanchisaurus to the Titanosauridae. With the description of M. Hachuanensis, Young and Zhao created the family Mammanchisauridae in 1972. In 1978, when no Mammanchisaurus skulls were known, Berman and McIntosh assigned the genus to Diplodocidae based on Diplodocid-like vertebral features such as the Fort Chevrons. In 1990, McIntosh assigned Mammanchisaurus to a subfamily Mammanchisaurini, which was placed inside Diplodocidae. An analysis by Upchurch found Mammanchisaurus in the family Eulopodidae. Eulopodidae, being named first, would take priority over Mammanchisauridae. Several later analyses found Euhelopus to be a more distantly related Macronarian with Mammanchisaurus and Mammanchisauridae just outside of Neosauropoda. 
Sekia in 2011 and Mur and colleagues in 2020 treated M. constructus, M. hachuanensis, ZDM0126, M. hachuanensis referred, M. sinocom.orum, and M. youngi separately in their analyses. Moore and colleagues' analyzes found the position of M. constructus to be unstable, probably due to the limited character information in its original description. Depending on the dataset used, Yehelipus would either be within Macron area as other studies have found or outside Neosauropoda in a more traditional position, group with other Mammanchosaurus like Taxa. The latter scenario would make Mammanchosaurids members of Eulopodidae. The analyses of Sekia, 2011, and Moore and colleagues, 2020, didn't recover ZDM0126 as a sister taxon to the holotype of M. hachuanensis, questioning its referral to the species. The cladogram below shows a possible phylogenetic position of the genus within Sauropoda, from Elaine and Aquesby, 2008. Below, two phylogenetic trees show the internal relationships of Eulopodidae slash Mammanchosauridae in the two analyzes Moore and colleagues deemed most favorable, the implied weights and Bayesian analyses of the gonzalez riga dataset. Topology A, Implied Weights Analysis, Gonzalez Riga Dataset. Topology B, Time Calibrated Bayesian Analysis, Gonzalez Riga Dataset. Paleochronology. Mammanchosaurus was originally thought to have ranged from the middle to late Jurassic. Dot, however, there isn't reliable dating for the upper Shaxamau formation, where many of the Mammanchosaurus species are found. A study published in 2018 used uranium lead dating on the underlying Omasaurus bearing beds of the lower Shaxamau formation, previously thought to belong to the Middle Jurassic. However, the radiometric dating found the lower Shaxamau formation dated to the Late Jurassic, Oxfordian stage, 159 million years ago, Maya. This finding suggests a younger age for the overlying Mammanchosaurus bearing rocks of the upper Shaxamau, implying them to be no older than the Oxfordian. M. Sinocanadorum was found from the middle to upper Shishugu formation. Radiometric dating suggests this formation dated to the Oxfordian, ranging from 158.7 to 161.2 Maya. M. Neuensis was found in the Sweening formation, thought initially to be middle to late Jurassic. A 2019 study found these rocks belonged to the early Cretaceous, Aption stage, with an average age of 114.4 Maya. This indicates that Mammanchosaurids might have existed around 30 million years longer than previously thought. 